Hey everybody, Jen Gray here. Today we are going to set up a new server on dathost.net game server hosting. Let's jump right into it. So we go to dathost.net. You can click the link in the description or in the post that this is in. And this is the homepage. And they host several types of game servers. We're going to specifically be looking at Minecraft. But here's what I'm looking for. Hardware, AMD Ryzen 7900 or similar. That's good. Lots of locations, 29 locations in 22 countries all over the world. All right, let's click on the Minecraft link right here. And the homepage was in euros. This is in dollars. This is pretty interesting. This is the first host that I've seen that just has a single package. And it's a 16 gigabyte server. That's it. That's all you, that's all you get. And it's for $13.56 a month for a 16 gigabyte server. Typically those servers will run you 29 to $40, really good value if it's a good server. And you can save even more money by going quarterly or yearly. For 1085 a month, if you're willing to commit to a year, that's really cheap for a 16 gigabyte server. All right, let's click on order now. First step, we choose our server location, really good ping times. You can kind of see what part of the U.S. that I'm in here. This is actually the first server that I've seen in Colorado, which is where I am in, obviously, based on this ping time. So that's interesting. Let's just take a look at all of the locations. Australia, South Africa, Turkey. So Eastern Europe, Western Europe, Singapore, Asia, Canada, Hong Kong. Lots of locations. All right. We'll choose our server type next. Now we don't pick a package. Again, it's just one package, 16 gigabyte server. We're gonna start with a paper server, just set up a vanilla paper server. And I assume we can change it on the inside. Oh, there it is right there. You can always switch server type later from the control panel. I'm just going to choose the default paper and the latest version of Minecraft, which as of today, it's 121.4 and click on Next, account details, and we need to create an account. Okay, I've entered a username and password, and I'll just check these boxes here. I am a human, click sign up, and now we just set the payment. We'll do monthly, and I'm going to do PayPal. Okay, that was it. I just came back from PayPal to this message, your server is ready, start using your server. We'll click that link. That was super easy. I'm now, in my control panel, my server is booting. I'm just gonna click on the server so we can go into the control panel while it's booting up. So right here we can see my server IP address. I assume somewhere we can change our custom domain. Yep, right here in the settings, we can change our custom domain right here. It'll be any of these subdomain, a subdomain of any of these domains, so like dathode.st, gamergod.net, ggwp.cc. Let's just choose that one. Number of options here. Just scroll through these so you can see them. Some basic Minecraft settings, view distance, number of players. Let me just click save and reboot. And that will give us our custom domain. Okay, now the server's rebooting. We can just kind of click through some of these other settings here, gameplay, we can set the difficulty. So a lot of the server properties we can set here in the interface. We can set the seed on our world. We'd have to create a new one if we change the seed and we can change our location. So in this menu, we can change the server type. Right here, we've got a paper server, but we can choose another one. We'll set up a modded server in a minute after we test out this vanilla server. Here we can install plugins if we want to. Because we have a paper server, we can install bucket plugins. We have a file manager where we can access all of the files. So if we wanted to delete, change our world name, upload a world, we can manage all that here in the file manager. Let's see, can we edit? Right click, create file, rename, delete, download file. If we just 
click on it, we can edit the file over here. So we can just edit and if we make changes, we can save it right here in the interface. We can also access our server through FTP. So we can use our desktop FTP client. So it looks like the server is up. Let's just go through the rest of these things here. Commands, we can schedule commands. We can run any server command. We can also reboot, start, and stop the server at any given time. Repeating commands, so we can do a daily restart, for example. Checking the console here. I'll op, op myself. And we can wipe the server. All existing save games will be permanently deleted and a fresh world will be generated. Okay, we don't want to do that right now. Reset the server. Reset the server completely. Okay, again, we don't want to do that. And we can do backups. So we can initiate a backup here, give it a name. It's going to reboot the server when we do it, so I'm not going to do that right now. All right, I've booted up Minecraft. Okay, here we are in a 1.21.3. Vanilla server, we click multiplayer, add server, add the server address, done. And here we go, we've got our server, it's up and running. We can log in for the first time. And here we are on our server. Seems good, but this is vanilla. So this isn't a great test for performance. That's why I want to start up a Modded server. Okay, let's figure out how to change this to a Forge server. So I can just change it to Forge. I want to install a mod pack though. We can set up a custom server type. Mods and plugins. Change the server type like this and see if this does it. Okay, so now that I've got my server set up as a Forge server, I can put a Curse Forge mod URL right in here. And I'm going to install Valhelsia 6. It's one of my favorite mod packs. Click install. It's going to, good, it detects that I have the wrong version of Forge installed. It needs 1.20.1. So we'll reset the server and change version. Yes, reset and reboot. Okay, this is pretty easy. We could also upload a zip file if we wanted to upload our own custom mod pack. Okay, that just took a minute or two and now it is booting up. Let's watch the console. This is kind of a medium sized mod pack, so it's going to take a little bit for this to start up. It's also creating a new world, so it's going to take extra long to do that. Okay, the server's all booted up. I'm going to load up Valhelsia 6, I'll leave it as a window so you can kind of see the console behind here. Click multiplayer, add a server, enter in the server address, and we'll drop in. <laughs> That's an interesting spawn. Wow, okay, well. Okay, well, here we are in Valhelsia 6. Feels like normal Valhelsia 6 load times and initial performance looks great. And look at my ping. That's how close I am to this server. This is about as good as it gets. It's like it's in my backyard. Zero millisecond ping time. I promise this server is not in my house. All right, there you go. I think this is a really good option. Definitely one to check out at a really reasonable price for a 16 gigabyte server. It never hurts to give it a try. You can always move to another server if things don't work well for you. I think it's working great for me. Seems like a pretty no frills control panel, which is great for people just getting started, don't know a lot about it. If you need help, just hit that help button in the bottom right. I've tested out their support. They're very responsive, very helpful. 
you want to check out dathost.net, check out the link in the description. I've also written a blog post going through this whole process on my blog. Link to that is also in the description, so check that out as well. All right, I hope this review of dathost.net was useful. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I appreciate you.